Today, ladies and gents, we are back in the 13th century woods that I shot in, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago. It's a very different type of woodland to the locations I've been in for the last few weeks. But uh, hopefully we can still find some great stuff um, and take some good shots. So let's crack on and see what we can find. So I've come across this tree stump that's covered in kind of some kind of sort of puffball type mushrooms. Don't know what they're called. Um, they're certainly not pretty. They're all sort of decayed and rotting and dying, if not dead. But the textures and the, the just the sort of patterns are so interesting that I think we're shooting anyway. So I'm going to set that up. Right, we're fully set up. This one was a bit of a fiddle to set up because I've had to clamp the LED light, which you can see here to this um, convenient branch that's fallen against the stump. But what that's doing is allowing us to have some nice warm light here at the bottom of the subject. If I just wave my hand in front of the light, you can see the difference that's making. That's just helping to get it to stand out against the dark area behind it. So it's a pretty simple composition. We've got these two parts of the subject just forming a nice diagonal line here, which I think always looks nice. I'm going to shoot this at f8, even though it's a focus stack. If I shoot at wider apertures, I find I often get blooming around the edge of the, where you get this contrast between the light areas and the dark areas. So um, at f8, it's, that's just a little bit more controlled, so that should look good. So um, yeah, it's a very simple shot. I'm not sure what else to say about the composition of this. Um, we're just kind of nicely isolating the subject against, um, well, against the background. So I'm going to focus here. I'm going to draw the focus towards me and I'm going to shoot a focus stack. So we're doing the usual 100 images. I'll just choose the ones I want later and we're going to shoot that now. So looking at the final image in the stack, we can see the focus is well past anything we might want towards the back of the subject. So we should be good for a nice stack. So um, yeah, if that one looks good, here it is now. Right, that shot is done, ladies and gents. Um, what you don't see, by the magic of video editing is it actually took me about an hour to shoot because I kept fluffing my words. So now I'm going to have a well-deserved or perhaps undeserved cup of coffee and then I think it's probably lunchtime. I'm conscious that this doesn't become a um, channel entirely about cheese sandwiches but I mean inevitably I have to show you this. So um Right, lunch is done, ladies and gents. Um, while I was fluffing my lines for an hour on the last shot, my intrepid mushroom spotter um, found some more good stuff. So we're just gonna go over there now and see what she's found. So once again, ladies and gents, my intrepid mushroom spotting assistant has come up with the goods and she's found these black things growing up from this little piece of log. So looking at it from just above the camera, you can see this is the, the chap here that we're focused on. Um, we've got an LED light here to the left, which is just throwing a bit of extra light up in the shadows just to make these areas a little bit less kind of inky black, just to show a little bit of detail. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about the composition really. This main chap here is offset slightly to the right, 
And to me, he looks like a kind of a Harry Potter Dementor raising his arms up. Do they have arms? I don't know. Raising his arms up to do whatever he does to these other chaps down here. So I'm going to shoot a focus stack of this, but it's not because I want lots in focus. It's because I want to make sure this one is fully in focus. Possibly this one as well. I still want lots of fall off in the background. Um, but I think a single shot might give me just not quite enough depth of field. So looking at my depth of field preview there, even at f8, it doesn't really increase the depth of field by a huge amount. So yeah, we're going to shoot a focus stack. I'm going to focus on this little point here, which I think is the most important part. I'm going to bring the focus towards me slightly just to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss this little point up here, so I might come a bit closer. That's it, just to make sure we're fully in. And I'm going to shoot a focus stack. This time I'm going to shoot 50 images. I'm just going to check my focus again. Yeah, looking good. So I'm going to shoot that now. Right, looking at the final shot, um, provided we're past all of this one, I don't really care what else is in focus. So um, I think we're good for a focus stack. And if that does look good, here it is now. Right, that shot's done. I'm gonna crack on so I can find one more good shot today. I seem to have stumbled across some sort of deer graveyard. There's skulls absolutely everywhere. Skulls, jawbones, all sorts of bits just scattered around on the ground. So I was so distracted by all of the skulls that I found that um, I'm afraid I've run out of time to do a third shot for today. So by way of a bonus and a kind of apology for shortchanging you slightly, here are some still lifes of the stone tool that I found the other day. Hope you like them. Cheers.